What's up guys? It's been a minute. Today is another FPV trick theory video. What we're gonna talk about is tricks versus flow. What's more important? What is flow even? Um, and let's just get into it right now. People say that flow is your style or flow is, um, I don't really know what, what are people, the way that you link your tricks together. What I look at flow as is basically the space between tricks. So your style mixed with this kind of space in between tricks. Um, so which one's more important? If you know in Tony Hawk, however many tricks you can hit, your score just gets higher and higher. It doesn't really matter how you uh, land it or whatever. Is that more important or is your flow more important? The main difference between this thing and a skateboarder is we're not watching this drone do the trick. So when you're watching a skateboarder, you see him do his 360 or whatever. But flying drones is like being the skateboarder. It's like playing Tony Hawk. I don't know if there is a mode where you are the skateboarder. I don't think there even is. But it's like when you're playing those racing games, when you are inside the cockpit of the car or whatever, the, in the driver's seat. That's what drones is. So everything is really an illusion. You're using the viewer's imagination. So when he sees the screen go, you know, ra around, he's thinking, oh, that was a 360. He doesn't actually see, he or she doesn't actually see you do the 360. And that's where flow comes in. And um, kind of the thing that, again, drones have that skateboarders don't have is cinematicness or um, smoothness of the camera. You see like, for example, Johnny FPV, his last 10 videos have zero acro tricks in them. It's literally all flow. So flow is being cinematic. Uh, it's, you know, moving a certain way where the camera picks up, uh, as it, where things looking at a scene is interesting. That's flow. So you are not just, you know, have a camera stagnant, uh, checking out the scene or panning left to right like you would on a uh, Mavic. So that's like a big difference between the DJI drones and FPV is the way they, it's like a gimbal, but the way you control that gimbal has style to it. Now there's no particular handbook on how to have flow or how to fly with flow, but there is something and some ways that you can practice. If you want flow, you don't want your quad to be super light. You want a heavier quad, 650, 700. I wouldn't go above 700, but 650 to 700 is right on. Um, this way your quad kind of has more momentum. You can kind of throw yourself. Your quad will kind of hold its attitude. Um, you know, the, the pig controller will be working harder, so it will kind of keep you fixed in a, in a certain position. Now, it may be harder to fly without getting prop wash, but this is something that you'll kind of uh, get used to over time. And you don't want to have your props to be too lightweight and you don't want to have your props to be too shallow. Like an S3, for example, I think would be a little bit too, too shallow of a pitch. We've got these wind dancers on here and that is perfect. This one's running about, I think 690 now that I've put this regular, uh, this regular TPU mount on it. So a little bit on the heavier side won't hurt you for being uh, flowy or juicy. Um, like for example, I think Drib's quad has always been over 700 and he's the flow master. So Willie's quad is also pretty thick and he's the juice master. So there you have it. Um, if you want to go spazzy, boom, this is your guy here. We're talking 630 something with, with the, uh, hero eight. So the super, super light with a session, it would be under 600 easy. Um, and you've got the lighter, uh, shallower props. So these are, I think, 0.1 off from the, the PB&J props. You can use those. These are 5.1 by 3.1. We'll be doing a review of those when they get here. 
But anyway, the point of it is lightweight and, you know, be able to snap around. Quick giveaway interruption for this wonderful T-Motor FT5 that is half custom. So I added the Predator V5 uh, R9 system and a Rush Tank Mini. It's got the T-Motor stack that is ready for DJI. I have it hooked up to analog, obviously, but it is ready for DJI, like I said. And back to the video. Let's also go ahead and do these. So Obonic sent some batteries, 1300 6S and 1000 6S. So we'll do two winners. Check out the Patreon, link in the description. I may throw in some other stuff. Hopefully we'll have another giveaway too before the end of the month. So check it out. Back to the video. Flow and technicality is what we're gonna talk about. Here's flow, not touching the sticks, okay? <laughs> Fence. But anyway, if you notice someone who flies with a lot of flow, you'll see that they are rarely going straight like this, right? They are always at an angle doing something. They always have a destination, right? Like coming here and then going through like that. You know, always a destination. So most of the time their quad will be uh, curved. If you see someone more technical when they want to get to that tree, they'll do like a speed burst and then do some shit like that, okay? So that, that would be the difference of transportation. Now also, someone who is flying with flow will do a move and kind of let the quad take them to the next destination. They don't really have a place planned. So, wow, we got a helicopter. So for example, let's let that fly by. Where is it, right there? Yeah, is that it? Yeah. Okay, so for example, I'll hit this tree, let's do a split S or something. When I come out of it, wherever the quad is pointed, that's where I'm going. I wanna put as little input as possible, you know, at least as my beginner stages. So I'm coming out at this angle, I may break it up like that and come do something here. Basically, as little inputs as possible. And that'll help you have flow and it'll help you be smooth. So I'll hit this like that. Boom, and then we're, I guess we're going here. I'll hit that. Boom, we're going this way. You know, just stuff like that. I'm, I'm kind of scared because of that car. I don't want to hit it, but uh, that's the gist of it. You want to have as little inputs as, as possible. You let the quad control you. You don't really control the quad until it's time to hit some kind of move, right? All right, let's swap packs. So what's more important, having flow or having moves? You got someone like Steel, whose main focus is on moves. So like a <laughs> Rubik's Cube, I suck at stuff like that. But the moves come first. Then you got like, uh, who, who else? Willy, who kind of has created his own style with Johnny, the, the juicy style, which is uh, a kind of mixture of them both. So if you want to be someone that has a really flowy cinematic style, you want to turn your rates down so you can, you know, make small movements without having it be jerky, you know? Um, if you're someone who wants to be kind of technical, then you may want some faster rates. You may want to put a little bit of expo and have your rates be a lot faster so you can kind of spaz out. I always call it spaz it out because it's just lack of a better word. But yeah, that is that. So you can't just kind of like right now I'm having trouble kind of doing technical fast moves because my quad has some slower rates and some higher P gains and uh, stuff like that. So it's not really tuned for that right now. Although I could like get away with some stuff, you know. Um, and also I find it hard to talk when I'm doing this, this spazzy stuff. So anyway, so you gotta find a good balance, uh, what works for you. 
and uh, stick to it. If you want to be good at something, if you want to just, if you're just flying for fun, then none of this stuff really even applies. But if you're trying to get to a certain place, then take the advice for whatever applies to you. And um, I guess that's it. I don't know. I don't want to. Don't want to beat a dead horse. So see what applies to you and work on that. If you want uh, to be more flowy, follow the flowy steps. Less control on the sticks. You don't want to be super involved. If you want the kind of more spazzy Mr. Steel style, get your rates up and be all over the sticks, you know? That's why he pinches is another reason is because his rates are kind of higher and he needs that extra control to be able to zzz, zzz, zzz. Uh, You want to bring, if you are want the spazzy steel stuff, then you need to also bring, <clears throat> bring down your latency as much as possible. Um, so use the new TBS tracer. I'll put that in the description or crossfire shot. Uh, if you want flow, juiciness, latency isn't as important. So a little tip here, you can increase your RC smoothing. If you're on beta flight, bump that up to 20. I have mine on 15, go 20, 25 if you want to be extra smooth, um, especially if you're kind of a beginner-ish to intermediate area that can help you a lot it'll it'll be basically like uh, hyper smooth on the sticks so bump that up if you want to be spazzy and dodging things and going wild take that down because the lower that number is the lower your latency will be so just a little tip there and uh, yeah I guess that that about wraps it up um, I'm doing a quad giveaway again. We're giving away the T-Motor BNF that I've actually added some parts to like uh, the Foxeer camera and some stuff like that, the, the Rush VTX. Giving that away in the Patreon in a, like a week. So join and um, I'll put a link to that below and see you guys on the next one. Peace.